full of restaurants and vendors, DIA is like its own little city. And that city has looked pretty sad over the last three months. Signs of life now, though, both for the major airlines and the smallest of businesses. Here's Denver 7's Jason Grinauer. We opened here at DIA March 13th of 1996. In 24 years, plenty of souls have passed through these chairs. It's a warm place in a in a otherwise busy, stressful environment. Because here, it's about more than just shoes. We really owe the reason that we've stayed in business is to building relationships with customers listening to them. That's the biggest thing that we do. But when COVID-19 hit, those conversations went silent. We had to make the decision to close. For two and a half months, the longest stretch this business, the owner likened to a family, has ever shut down. I feel responsible, you know, for them. Employees like Jonathan Soto. Been here since I was 14 years old. He's shined shoes here for two decades, at times alongside his father. The coronavirus took more than Jonathan's job. I did lost my dad to, to COVID. Uh, that was a tough time. I love taking care of people. That's what I do. And he taught me a lot of that. Something that he is now, once again, putting into practice. When they come by, they're like, oh, you're open. Executive Shine is exactly. now back to shining and conversing. It will come back because people are really longing to be connected again. So it's been, it's just felt so great to see people that we haven't seen in months. And, and we can't hug them, but we can, you know, elbow bump. Right. And that after going through the hardest times they've ever faced. That there's hope. That, that you can come back and the impact you have on people is really important and to never forget that. At DIA, I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7. Ah, so exciting to see people back to work.